Hi, this is Dan Malloy. Today we're going to be starting a series on the New York State Regents examinations. And I'm working from the Barron's Review Course Series. This is the Algebra 2 Trigonometry book. And the test is uh, one that was given on June, in June of 2010. So those are the problems we'll be working through. So let's get started. Uh, the first problem. What is the common difference of the arithmetic sequence 5, 8, 11, 14? So first let's recall what is an arithmetic sequence. Now remember there are two different kinds of sequences. There's arithmetic and geometric. And we won't talk about geometric in this video, but you do need to know it for the test. And whenever you encounter an arithmetic sequence problem, immediately you want to recall the formula. So the formula gives you the value of any term. So the nth term of an arithmetic sequence, a sub n, is equal to the first term, a0, plus the common difference, and we'll talk about what that is, times n minus 1. So what are each of these variables? n is the term that you're finding. So you're finding the nth term, that's why it's a sub n. So if you're finding the third term, this would be a sub 3. If it was the tenth term, it would be a sub 10, and so on. n is the actual number that's in that subscript over here. So um, and a sub n, again, is the term that you're finding. a sub 0 is the value of the first term. And d is the common difference, which is the difference between each number in the arithmetic sequence. So let's identify what these actually are. What's the first number in the arithmetic sequence? Well, it's 5. So that's our a0. 5 is a0. So I'll just put that here. a0 equals 5. And what's the common difference? In other words, n what number is being added or subtracted to get from each one of these to the next one? Well, to get from 5 to 8, we're adding 3 and then we're adding 3 to get to 11 and we're adding 3 to get to 14 so we're always adding 3 so that's the common difference common difference is 3 and that's what this question is asking what is the common difference so we don't have to go any further than that we have the answer to this problem um, it's also worth noting that we can use this formula to find out what the nth term is. So in another problem they might ask you what is the 50th term of this sequence. Now you could go on adding 3 50 times but that would take a long time. A better way would be to use this formula. We could say a50 equals a sub 0 plus d times n minus 1. Now let's plug in and see what that would really be. Well the first term is still 5 so a0 is always 5 plus the common difference, which we just found out was 3, times n minus 1. 50 minus 1 is 49. And we could go ahead and plug all that in, and we would ultimately find out that this is 3 times 49, which would be what? 147 plus 5. So 147 plus 5 is 152. So that would be what we could do to find the 50th term of this sequence. And you could find any other term as well.